You got it. Okay. Okay, you you're looking right at uh, Cinco and uh, it, Cody. We've really been we really we doesn't feel like we're climbing, but we've been climbing for quite a while here. I just looked at the pitch meter and it was pegged out a minute ago. Wow. We got a, we're climbing up about a 10 degree slope now. Okay. And I. And uh, let's see, six was at uh, zero 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 at uh, barely. What should we be heading for? Those craters up there. Oh, don't tell me that. Where? Okay, see that one? It's sort of a funny shape. Looks like it's got a breach in the southeast side at twelve yeah. o'clock. Yeah. That's it. The one at twelve o'clock, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, Houston, now that we get up to Stone, uh, I mean up Stone Mountain, my assessment is it's. Not any worse than what we've been driving down. I think this is one of our benches here, John. I think it is. Right? Yeah, we're at 3-3, three, three, and 5 should be at 3-3. Three, three. And, uh, okay, Tony, we're on a flat area now at 3-5-5 uh, five, five at 3.3. Three. And, uh, and I think uh, it's, it apparently is a bench. Uh, it's uh, about, we're passing Station 5, a little to the east. Okay, glad you can recognize Yowie. it there. That's great. And it's, uh, I tell you, it's just as blocky here. The block population is up again to about 40 to 50 percent. Okay, you might look for a fresh crater that would punch through that ray material in the, Kayla, or in the Descartes for a station five when you come back. No, we got lots of... Okay, most of the craters here are, uh, there's another split one, but it's old South Ray, Charlie. That's beautiful. Just spectacular. I can't believe it. And there's, uh, there's Baby Ray, John. See it? Yeah, you can see it. It's got black sides to it. Okay, here's the crater, Tony. Remind us, at 354, at 3.4, that's about 15 meters across and about five meters deep, and I bet you it punched through. Oh, man. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And that, and that should be a good enough for... And that should be a good station five. Okay. Man, we are really going up a hill, I'll tell you. How about the traction? You slipping it off? That's the only one I see I reckon. Okay, see, there seems to, over here by this oblong one, which I think is Cinco E, John, it, we go up a steep slope, but then it seems to level out right up on top. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Look at that bench in Crown. I know it. No, we can't see Crown now. What, what, is, it, what is that thing with a V in it? That's uh, Cinco E. The one with a V in it? Yeah. Let's go sample that. Okay, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. See, there's, it seems to be it's a steep slope going up to it, but it's a, uh, it looks like a bench or a little ridge on top. Yep. Okay, we're at 354 at 3.6. And you ought to see that baby ray, Tony. It's, uh, it's got a real good raised rim. You can see some good, uh, it's got lots of blocks around it that are hard to estimate the size. And we're going up a steep, steep slope, John. I'll tell you. We believe you, Charlie. And uh, it's got black streaks uh, coming out of it. Uh, okay, our amps are now up to six, uh, 60. Oh, well, wait a minute, that's bold. Yeah, Charlie. This is going to be spectacular. I can see wreck and trap and orange juice. There's a little bench on up there, a little bit more, John. Yeah, we're getting up on a bench right now. And, and boy, this is going to be such a spectacular view, you can't believe it. Okay, we're at Cinco, Tony. We feel at 3.7 at uh, 355. See it anywhere, Charlie? What? Cinco? Yeah, this is it. Here's the one. There's one. And the big one. It's just to the left over there with the uh, V in it. Uh, Charlie, you're probably at one of the lower Senkos, not uh, D or E. 
You should have something like 4.0. Okay, Wilco. Okay, we're going up. A little easier driving uphill and down. It's and you're well ahead on the timeline. You've been making good time. Tony, I can see into, uh... Charlie, let's go up here to this big blocking crater. Man, that's really good. Where's that? Right up there. That's Crown. Don't want to go up to there? Yeah, that's fine with me. We're getting into the area now at uh, point seven, uh, zero, zero 007 at 2.6, where the, uh, uh, it's more pebbly than uh, cobbly, uh, being uh, four centimeters or so. My, uh... Huh? My what you call it just fell off. The SCB? No. See it? Look and see if it's between my legs. Can you see over there? I can't see. I think it fell between my legs. What thing? A pimp. My uh, bags. Well, I didn't see it, John. We got plenty of those. Got plenty? Yeah. Okay. I don't know whether to go back or not. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, and can we have a range and bearing, please? Okay, we're zero zero seven at two point six, and we can okay. uh, see just the top of Orion. Very good. And that nav system, Tony, has got us pointed right at it. Outstanding. Little, uh, there's a really a glass covered one right there. Little round, look like a bowling ball. We're doing V Max now, eight clicks, nine clicks. Because we're going up a real steep slope. Okay, do you have an amp? Stopped out on a rise, Tony, and we're going down into another swale. Uh, I can see a, a flag crater off at uh, 11 o'clock, and we're heading 007. It's a uh, boulder strewn on the south side, uh, pointed straight ahead of us, at, between us and the lunar module. At the, uh oh, better, Charlie. The range keeps still saying 2-6. I think it's uh, working. Well, anyway, uh, you better belay that range, Tony. It's been 2-6 for quite a while. Okay, that's fine. We, uh, we agree. We can see the limb, though. Okay, fine. Now we're going down into a, uh, another... Another two to three hundred meter, maybe five hundred meter subdued crater. It's really going to be steep slope if we go straight into it, but John is adroitly maneuvering around it. Back going down that crater. Oh, that <laughs> is really <laughs> steep. Look at that. Look at that hole in the bottom. I know it. Tony, it's a, a, a subdued crater without any rim at all. Uh, it is sort of oblong. But look at that. Look at the. Look at the. Uh, uh, that hole in the bottom has a uh, has a ledge in it. I know it, Tony. It looks it. Re this reminds me of Big Sag. If you know Big Sag on the map, north uh, or west of uh, North Ray, then this whole area to our uh, right. Uh, uh, turn there. the camera around there. There you track. Look at that, John. How far? See him back over there. Looks to me like we just go around the circle here, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, station 13, right down the same way we came. Oh my goodness. We can't see all the ride from here. This is going to be something going down this hill. Sure, we, we did. I'm not sure we came up that hill. No, we did. There's the tracks. Look at that slope. 
sure that you got the brakes on. Tony, this is at least a 15 degree slope we're going down. And that rover came right up it and you never even knew it. Break that beauty, John. Man, a week's already. Super. I should have had the camera pointed forward. Hey, Tony, that was at, uh, I think it's 179 at 4.4 uh, 4. at little steep slope there. Whoever said this was the Cayley Plain? Oh, I was down the rim of the crater. Yeah. We just set a new world speed record, Houston. 17 kilometers an hour on the moon. Well, let's not set anymore. I'm with you. John, I got us out uh, two hours and uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, it looks like. I guess that'll be a new moon speed record, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know about it. And all of your uh, going data back, looks uh, good. Cross sun. Okay. And it, it, it's the 600 meters from the rim. Okay, Tony, I'm panning your camera around at various places here on the 16 to get right and left. Okay, and it's, it's really, probably out of film uh, now. Again, the impression is that the... Already? Uh, no, we're just going to turn it off now. I'm sorry, sorry. Tell you. It's half full, Charlie. Okay, turn it off. Okay, good show. And it's hard on the old fingers.